It's Chris that's sick. And he just won't call Bob? Well, I haven't been back in there. I haven't been back in there since I talked to you, but he was really adamant about not telling him or anyone who works here. But he wouldn't let me take him to the hospital by the cabin either. Something doesn't no, no, make no, sense. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize that you and Chris had decided to go to the cabin. Well, I hadn't. Okay. But then when you called me to say that you and Tom couldn't come, I kind of decided I really wanted to go and sort of tricked him into coming with me. Wait, tricked him? Well, I didn't trick him. I just didn't really mention the part that you guys weren't going to be there. Did he notice that we weren't there? He did. All right. And it got a little romantic. And then um, we were about to, you know. You're not wearing your ring. I know. Is that awful? No. No, it's it's not. Not at all. It's a good thing. That means that you're, you're ready to move on? Well, I did go away for a weekend with another guy. Oh, I know how hard it must have been for you to take that off. Yeah, it seemed pretty impossible for a long time, but... I don't know, this morning I just woke up and it felt right. It was sad, but it was time. Okay. No, no, please don't make a big okay, deal no, out of no, it. No, 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 I wouldn't, no. Okay, so, so you two were about to, um... Yeah, and that's what really freaked me out, because we started kissing mm -hmm. and things were getting really intense, and then all of a sudden Chris couldn't breathe and he was grabbing his chest. Oh my God, was he having a heart attack? No, well, no, I, that's what I thought too, but he said no, and he started to stand up, and then he just passed out on the floor. I was so scared. Well, of course you were, but you did the right thing. You got him here, and then, and, you know, if anything happens, they can take care of him. Well, he said it was low blood sugar or indigestion or something, a million other things, but I... What? Katie, what? I think it was me. Oh, are you nuts? The guy's over the moon for you. Are you sure? Yes, and if you don't believe me, ask Tom. I... Look. Chris got sick. He's probably really embarrassed that it happened. But don't go begging trouble where there isn't any. There's enough of that already in this world. Nah, I got a stomach bug. <clears throat> you were drawing your own blood because you have a tummy ache. I'm just being careful. And I'd appreciate it if you keep it between us. I know. Sense of going running off, putting on your friend book page. Oh, yeah, let me go update my status. You know how I'm all about social networking. Look, the point is, it's not a big deal, all right? Since the nurses were overworked, I thought I'd draw my own blood. I am qualified to do the job. Hmm, well, when, when smart doctors get sick, they have healthy doctors treat them. He's never claimed to be a brain surgeon. What are you afraid of? That you're not going to get the chief of staff position if people find out that you get sick like the rest of humanity? Would you please back off? I already got a stomachache. Don't need a headache on top of it. Don't worry, if you don't get the job, it's not because you're sick. It's because you're not good enough. <laughs> go to hell. Nurse, could you uh, run that down to the lab for me? Tell them to put a rush on the results. And these are the uh, tests I need run. This sample's not labeled. What's the patient's name? Uh, it's not necessary. Just tell them it's for me and to have them expedited, okay? Thanks. Please don't be mad. I brought her for more support for me, not you. I'm sorry Katie was bothering you, okay? It was nothing, really. It wasn't. I feel like an idiot for ruining our weekend, though. Well, do you have any idea what happened? Oh, acid reflux. <laughs> Sexy, huh? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want us to wait here with you? No, oh, please. Please go. Uh, really. Two beautiful ladies standing around waiting for me to pass out. Not helping. Understood. You'll speak no more of it. Thank you, Margot. Um, I'm going to wait outside for you, okay? Okay. Rain check? Absolutely. Okay, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, and you can tell me to mind my own business, but no, I'm going to okay. tell you I anyway you because for your advice. advice. Right, so you are always looking for signs in everything but please don't read anything more into what happened to chris than what it actually just is he had a gas bubble you know at an inappropriate moment when we but, were about to have sex for the very first time uh, yes but uh, bad timing fine but a sign that you're not meant to be not a chance i agree my future new boyfriend just got a little sick that's all it was <gasps> wow your future new boyfriend how does it feel to say that better than i thought it would all right, little sister. So, now that the crisis is over, tell me everything. Start at the very beginning. Don't leave anything out. 
you ever knock? So I hear that you have sudden onset acid reflux. I'm sorry, you eavesdropping on my conversation? Huh? Maybe it's because pediatricians don't often deal with indigestion, but the tests that you ordered for that blood sample, if you're looking for gastric issues, you know, you may want to reconsider this. What the hell are you doing with that? Well, it's just a copy of the original went to the lab. What I'm wondering is why you're having yourself tested for an obscure tropical virus, yet you're telling your new girlfriend, my roommate, by the way, that you have a normal stomach disorder. Why are you lying, Chris?